Five hands. Oh, Dream Team. This your boy D Neil. Back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are. Prisoners in Finland live in open prisons where they learn tech skills. Well, that's pretty cool. We're about to find out what open prisons really means, though. I mean, I, I don't think I've heard the term open prisons. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. If you have a favorite video or suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. What we got? This man is serving a life sentence for murder. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, I'm a little body conscious, as you can see. I've gained a few pounds. A dip in the frozen lake behind the prison is part of his regular workout routine. No problem. It's okay. Nah, you crazy, bro. Yeah, you, you, you're absolutely crazy. Ain't no way I'm taking a dip in a frozen lake. <laughs> okay, your turn. <laughs> Welcome to life in one of Finland's open prisons. There are no cell blocks here, just dormitories. Inmates come and go in their own cars. Huh? When Matty isn't at the nearby university campus, he's in his dorm room, studying for a career in tech. Some entrepreneurship books, marketing books, user experience, all kinds of uh, digital and uh, IT studies. And we have this kind of normality principle that prisoners should be treated equally even though they are prisoners, but they should have access to same services and rights as, as other citizens. This is intriguing. In recent years, Finland has been named the happiest and safest country in the world. Yes. Citizens here enjoy generous public benefits, universal health care, subsidized daycare for children and Ooh. free college tuition. Promotional films like this, produced by Finland's Criminal Sanctions Agency, Document how prisoners are eased back into society with work opportunities and help from counsellors. And the incarceration rate here is one of the lowest in Europe, a quarter of what it was in 1950. In Finland, only one in three former convicts ends up back in prison. Compare that to the United States, where two out of three get locked up again within two years of release. That's insane, yeah. Our, I feel like our prison system definitely isn't meant... They, they, it's it's about money. At the end of the day, our prison systems here are about money. For each inmate, right, that, that, that you put behind those prison walls, more money. More money. Prisons are privatized. More money. Uh, but, yeah, they're, they're not rehabilitated. Uh, and I'm not speaking, I can't speak for 100% of prisons, because I'm, I'm not sure, but most prisons in the U.S. I know are not really about rehabilitation and setting setting prisoners up for success once they get out. Uh, that's crazy though. Only one in three return open prison. They said he got a car, and they, did they say he comes and goes like as he pleases? Like now, y'all to keep talking to me because this I I'm 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 mind blown right now. Is what's going it's on? States where two out of three get locked up again within two years of release. A 2018 bill included sentencing reforms meant to reduce what is referred to as recidivism but they only apply to inmates in federal custody. Just 10% of the 2.3 million people incarcerated in the US. Wow. Critics say the 2018 reforms are only a small first step and fall far short of the kind of meaningful change Finland is so proud of. The scale, of course, is different. Today, there are fewer than 3,000 in the Finnish prison system. The number of people behind bars in the US is equal to half of Finland's total population. That's insane. A reimagining of what insane. prison looks like here started nearly 70 years ago, when this Scandinavian nation began building one of the most humane systems in the world. In some of the latest steps, Finland's Criminal Sanctions Agency is investing heavily in technology training. The first topic is uh, what is AI? Uh, then the second topic, problem solving with AI. And building a state-of-the-art smart prison for women. Hmm. And even testing VR to provide an escape from the drab walls and fluorescent lighting of Turku, Finland's oh. highest security closed prison. Mika, who is 10 years into a 15-year sentence, <laughs> is walking through a 3D forest. Kamala, ottanut lasi pois tiedäksä palata tähän todellisuuteen taas. 
He appreciates the chance to interact with VR technology and learn the basics of working with computers. Et sanotaan lisään vielä tämän verran, että tämmöisiä vankeja, ketä on välillä käynyt vapaana ja tullut takaisin, mm. niin on sanonut ihan suoraan, että ei siellä pärjää, niin kuin, että siellä on niin paljon erilaista tämä kaikki niin kuin tämmöiset, mm. että kaikki on niin paljon tietokoneistettua, että oh, wow. olisi hyvä saada sitä oppia. Mm. We try to uh, educate the prisoners to use digital services in a meaningful way, so that it would really help them to rehabilitate, that help them to take care of themselves and take care of their daily affairs mm. and the kind of things, the kind of skills that you need when you reintegrate back to society. Now Finland is investing in the infrastructure to support that readjustment a 34 million euro prison that many hope will set the standard for the future. Mm. No bars, glass windows, an internet connection in every room, and small touches meant for comfort. This is the... Oh, this is, this, I, it's just, as an American, I'm, I'm legit mind blown. Like, this is the prison, it's like, it seems like <laughs> they might be as good off as me living in this apartment, know what I'm saying? Like, I, <laughs> this is crazy to me. And I, I understand it, like the rehabilitation, I understand like they're doing amazing over there. Like only one in three come back. Uh, I mean, they're teaching these guys skills, guys and girls skills that they could use on the outside, rehabilitating them and preparing them for success on the outside. So when they get, when they do get released, they're not overwhelmed by everything and so therefore they're they're less likely to come back uh, because they have the skills and everything they need to succeed on the outside. <clears throat> one, thing to, one thing I would say like if somebody, I don't know, if somebody murdered my family member like I wouldn't want them living good on the inside and I know that's 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 because they say vengeance is the Lord's and right, you should you shouldn't hold that hate in your heart. But like it, if they it feels like murder, and then I see them like on the inside, like having a good time, like that would bother me. That would bother me. But for the good of society, this prison is uh, is is great. It's great. I mean, the results speak for themselves. So our speciality is divan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> When it opens in this fall, the brand new facility in Haminlina is expected to be Europe's most high-tech women's prison. But just across the road, a reminder of the past. The old facility, built in 1972, once housed both men and women. It shut down in 2019 after years of disrepair, mold, and other Ooh. reasons. This was before a toilet. Oh, wow. And a where bucket? Do you you? I take this and what's there? Uh, smells terrible. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely disgusting. And just a few minutes drive away, a relic built in the 19th century and modeled on the American style of prison that is still widely in use today. Mm. Cell blocks arranged in a radial floor plan, prisoners living in solitary confinement. This one is a museum now, preserved to show just how hard prison life here used to be. Mm. For Matty, the road to reform has led him to a career that he would never have dreamed of before. He connected with Reactor, a digital agency that designs online education courses. When they heard he was participating in this story, they invited him to give some feedback on the program. Oh, wow. Um eager to hear like what did you think about the first course what do you see what was your general impression about it it was shown quite simply what is ai what isn't ai Very so good. that was that was really good and uh, kind of like show that it's not about magic seeing him in this meeting it's easy to forget that matty is still serving out his sentence for I murder in that time he hopes to complete a university degree and start a business one way to get kind of like 
employed is of course self-employment. So, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of prisoners have al already the entrepreneurial mindset. <laughs> Based on Matty's recommendations, Reactor is planning to add an entrepreneurship course to the prison curriculum. It has like enforced my trust in also like this Finnish prison system, where, yes. where like giving chances to put people like you, like yeah. it's, it's it's awesome. After the meeting, Matty heads back to Loka Prison. But he is excited for the future. At the beginning of my sentence, I, I thought that this is there, there can only be negative things in being in prison, that basically life is over. But I think you should give people a chance. That's the most important thing. That's crazy. It seems like he's still living a regular life. Uh, shout out Finland. They should, I don't think I've ever heard of an open prison as, as like that. That's all we got. You guys got a fair video suggestion. You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy D. Neal. Out.